Alright, I want to talk to you guys about this motherboard I have on my screen right now. This is the MSI P7N Platinum Tri-SLI motherboard. Um, with this motherboard, I threw a Q6600 on here. That's a quad-core 2.4 gigahertz CPU with um, a 1066 front-side bus. Alright, so I threw it on there, and I can only get to 3 gigahertz when overclocking. So when I only got to 3 gigahertz, you know, I I I went to some of the review sites online. Um, probably about I don't know five, six. Can't remember how many I checked out, but every single one of the one of those review sites could only get to 3 gigahertz on this board and I was um, dead set on getting past 3 gigahertz so I'm going to be showing you guys how to get past 3 gigahertz um, with that said I think we should load up our bioses and um, get to the overclocking stage let's let's do it let's go to the bios Alright guys, I'm in my BIOS right now, so let's get started. Um, but first thing, I'm, I'm sorry for this chintzy audio, I'm using my little cool Pixel 18, very small um, little camera. Um, so let's go into our uh, cell menu, and then um, I'm going to make sure my dock control is off. And as you can see, it is disabled. So I'm going to go over to here, um, my Intel EIST. I'm going to make sure that that right there is disabled. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter on it, disabled, boom. Alright, um, let's also um, change our system clock mode from auto to linked. Alright, now let's change our um, frequency for our front side bus to 1666. Boom. Alright, everything's good for there. We just need to go down to the bottom of the screen here, or near the bottom and change our CPU voltage right here to, uh, let's see, we're going to change that one too. Probably 3.5, or actually, um, 0.35. You put, um, 3.5 in there, it'll probably blow your CPU in a matter of seconds. You can't even put that in there anyways. But, that should do. Um, 1666 will give me, um, let's see, what will it give me? It'll give me about, um, 3.75 gigahertz. All right, so 3. or um, 0.35 uh, volts in there. That's good for the voltage. Um, you're gonna want to make sure that you have good coolant. Um, I'm pretty um, sure my CPU can handle this temperature. I've checked my temperatures, and it's stable. I have the um, newer version of the Q66, which um, is 10 degrees less hot than the older version of it. So. Um, and that's Celsius, by the way. Okay, so let's go down to spread spectrum at the bottom of the screen here, and let's make sure that is disabled also. Okay. And now, since those are disabled, and my voltage is set to 0.35, I can actually boot into Windows, and I'll shoot a video in Windows for you guys. Alright, guys, I did it. I got my Q6600 all the way up to 3.75 gigahertz. I am running at a core voltage of 1.648. Um, this is an extremely impressive overclock for the P7N Platinum. Um, so I do have the G0 edition or version of this Q6600. Um, it's 10 degrees Celsius cooler than the um, than the other version of it. I can't remember. It was like a B something, B7 or something like that. But anyways, it's 10 degrees cooler, so, you know, if you have the GO or the G0, it's going to be easier for you to get an overclock like this. Um, but anyways, I get about 35 Celsius to 40 Celsius when idling, which, you know, isn't bad. Um, the Q6600, I was reading online, um, it's actually, it takes a lot of temperature. Um, when I'm running max load, um, completely max load. I'm just killing my CPU. I get about, um, what do I get? I get like, um, 75 to 80. But, um, it doesn't throttle back, which is a good thing, because that's what, um, a lot of people are saying online, how the, um, the Q6600 will actually throttle back if it's actually getting too hot. But, um, 
I know that 80 Celsius and like 65 Celsius and um, all that, you know, it seems kind of crazy, but um, the Q6600s, they take a whole lot of temperature and they last for a very long time. So, um, the only thing I can just say is, um, you know, you should probably bring your CPU um, frequency down, um, go to like 3.5 gigahertz, unless you really have to, uh, unless you really want to, um, you know, get to like 3.75. Um, I might have needed to put some more um, core voltage in there, maybe one or two integers up, and that would make it very, re very reliable in a crisis. But, um, but yeah, um, if you have good cooling, you know, go for it. Um, just don't try and use the stock heat sink and try and overclock like this. You'll probably blow your CPU. But, um, thanks for watching, and, um, thanks to, um, me got rice and Logan for, um, letting me put this video up on raisetheworld.com. It's an awesome site. You should check it out.